plastic surgery is common in the entertainment industry, particularly in Korea, where many celebrities openly admit to undergoing procedures or share their regrets about doing so. Several K-drama actors and actresses have also shared their experiences of feeling pressured to undergo surgery but ultimately chose not to. Park Shin Yi wasn't exactly told to get surgery, it was something that she had considered in the past. In TVN's Taxi, the MCs were so stunned by her beauty that they asked whether she had gotten a facelift before, and Shin Yi's answer couldn't have been clearer. Never. She was also asked if she ever got any surgery or touch-ups on her face, but Shin Yi denied everything once again. In another interview, she mentioned that she doesn't judge people who have plastic surgery and admitted that she once considered it herself. In the end, she decided that she loved herself as she was, which was the right thing to do. This didn't mean that Shin He was perfectly content with her appearance though, as she said, My face is not perfect. Because my nose is not sharp, many people suggested I should get my nose done, adding that her flaws were unique and that nobody was perfect. She repeated that she has no issue with plastic surgery, understanding that people choose it to fix their insecurities and feel better about their appearance. Super Junior's Lee Tuk already had some pressure to get surgery, considering that he's both an idol and an actor. Not to mention, SM Entertainment, the company he's under, is notorious for forcing their artists to get surgery for what they consider to be flaws. For example, Lee Tuk's fellow Super Junior member Q Hyun exposed the agency for making him get double eyelid surgery and threatening to not debut him if he didn't do so. While Lee Tuk didn't say that he was forced to do anything by the agency, he thought that his nose was too long, so he wanted to get some work done. After going in for a consultation, his doctor warned him that the surgery would be quite big, to the point that they would have to cut between the muscle on his cheek and nose, which would affect his smile. This changed Lee Tuk's mind about his decision, which the netizens also agreed to. It would be a shame for his nose or smile to be modified or changed. Rain was also strangely urged to get plastic surgery, something he revealed on an episode of his show, Season B Season, with Stray Kids as guests. Previously, a few years before this, Rain was hit with some plastic surgery accusations, which he denied every time. One time, he even made fun of these rumors, saying that it would be a problem for him to still look the way he does after getting surgery. The topic of plastic surgery also came up during the episode when a staff member pointed out that member Hyunjin closely resembled Rain during his bad guy era. Bang Chan also told Rain that people back in Australia used to tell him that he looks like Rain when he was 16. It was then when Rain told everyone that he was called ugly by everyone when he was young. He also went on to reveal that when he was thinking of becoming an idol, he was rejected by a total of 19 companies, including YG Entertainment, and shockingly, it was because of his looks. He explained, In fact, I was told an after one audition that my singing and dancing was great, but I did not make it because I didn't have double eyelids. Despite this though, Rain was accepted into JYP Entertainment as the founder JY Park was very impressed by him and knew that he was going to become a big star. JYP was still concerned about the way he looked though, so Rain was told to get plastic surgery by the former CEO of the company. However, he appeared understanding of the request since he considered visuals to be a standard for success. Rain said that he didn't go through with it, joking that JYP was successful despite not being that good looking. The two are still on good terms though, and Rain is as handsome as ever, so everything seems to be going great. Kara member and actress Gyuri was also told that she wouldn't debut unless she got plastic surgery. When she appeared on KBS's talk show Do Dream, Gyuri explained that an agency had offered offered her to pay for her plastic surgery before debuting. They basically told her that if she wanted to debut, she must undergo plastic surgery at a certain clinic. She expressed her grievances about the situation, saying, At the time, my parents were next to me and it made me sad to hear that in their presence, but I wanted to show him that he was wrong by making my debut without plastic surgery. She would be more than right. Guri was so gorgeous that she had been involved in a lot of rumors of whether she had plastic surgery or not. She was also dubbed as a goddess by the public, which means that whoever told her to get plastic surgery was just 
talking trash. Actress Honey Lee was told to get surgery on her most charming feature, which was shocking to hear. When she appeared on NBC's Section TV Entertainment Relay in 2015, she was asked by the MC if she liked desserts. Honey Lee said that she can't actually lose any weight because of her love for desserts. She also explained that at the time, she had gained a bit of weight, which made her dimple get deeper. The most surprising thing was that people criticized her for her dimple, even though it's one of her most charming features. Honey Lee revealed, One time, a plastic surgery clinic contacted me. They said they would fill my dimple in for me, but I think now people think of it as a charming point. In a separate appearance, she elaborated more on the offer that the plastic surgery clinic made her. They told her that her dimples weren't nice to look at and told her that they could fix them. This insecure Securities were furthered by the comments of camera directors, who said that her dimples looked like scars and told her to fill them. Since Honey had already debuted at that point, she thought that it would be awkward if her dimples just disappeared, so she decided against it. Considering that she looks lovely with her dimples, we couldn't be more thankful that she never went through with the clinic's surgery. Exit member Honey is considered as one of the most attractive celebrities in the South Korean entertainment industry, but she didn't think so. To provide some context, a few years Years ago, Hani appeared as a guest on an episode of Same Bed, Different Dreams, featuring a teenage girl and her mother. The teenage girl in question talked about how she felt so insecure about her appearance that she was thinking of getting plastic surgery. While people felt sad to hear that, Hani couldn't help but relate since she had gone through the same feeling of not liking how she looked, especially in an industry as demanding as that of K-pop. She even revealed that she used to compare herself to celebrities like Kim Tae-hee, who she considered to be more attractive than her. Feeling the pressure to look perfect, Hani once thought of getting a nose job because it was a source of insecurity for her. However, Hani's mother stepped in to stop her, telling her that she wouldn't be Kim Tae-hee even if she got surgery on her nose. In fact, her mother was so supportive of her that she used to tell Hani every day, Hani, you are a very precious one and you are really special because you are my daughter. The fact that Hani's mother was so supportive brought the viewers to tears, especially since Hani expressed how thankful she was for her mother's words. To her, it didn't matter if she wasn't pretty or if she wasn't good at something, all that was important was that she was precious to someone. Hani's story moved the girl and her mother to tears, especially when they heard about the unwavering support from Hani's own mother. Hani also struggled to hold back her tears as she spoke about her mother's constant support in overcoming her insecurities. She encouraged the girl's mother to be just as supportive of her daughter. Facing public pressure to meet beauty standards while remaining kind and supportive to others in similar situations shows how truly kind Hani is. Park So Joon's visuals are so insane that one would think that there's plastic surgery involved, but the truth couldn't be any more different. In fact, people thought that his face needed more work. He discussed his past insecurities about his looks and even his name in an appearance on TVN's Your Quiz on the Block. During the episode, Yu Jaesuk asked him if So Joon was his real name. So Joon admitted that his birth name was Yong Yu, but he changed it because talking about it and introducing himself used to make him deeply uncomfortable. So when he was thinking of becoming an actor, he decided to visit a naming service. According to So Joon, originally it was difficult for me to even say my own name so they suggested changing it to something more commonly used. Despite feeling insecure about his name in the past, he was even more self-conscious about his appearance, particularly his eyes. So Joon revealed that he also used to be very shy to the point he couldn't order at a restaurant, but it didn't help that he didn't like how he looked. He said that he was met with a lot of criticism at the time of his debut since back then, people liked celebrities with more distinct features. So, he was advised to go under the knife, which made Sojun wonder if he had made the right decision to become an actor. Lucky for everyone though, his career went well enough to change his mind. He stated, It was challenging to invest in an uncertain future and endure the difficulties, but as I persevered, good opportunities arose and it seemed worthwhile. Now, Sojun has become one of the biggest and most sought out actors in the industry and is 
is even deemed one of the most attractive ones, so we can say that he definitely made the right decision, both regarding his refusal to get surgery and to go on with the career path he had chosen. Considering the very harsh beauty standards in Korea, a lot of celebrities have been urged to get plastic surgeries for their monolids, but some of them didn't quite listen. One actress that was told to get work done was the gorgeous Park Sodom. Although international fans have praised her looks, Korean fans have criticized her appearance for years, criticism which continued even after she rose to fame with Parasite. However, despite this, Sodom learned to like her face, saying that it was unique. She said, I can at least confidently say that no one can copy my face even with plastic surgery. She had also stated that she didn't plan to get any plastic surgery since she didn't want to be limited by her looks and wanted to work hard to become an actress who's appreciated for her talents. Yu Ah In, who's very controversial at the moment, also advised Sodom to never get plastic surgery when the two were filming Veteran. He complimented her unique eyes, saying they were the most attractive feature on her face and advised her to keep her natural look and avoid plastic surgery. There are of course completely opposite cases in which actors ask to get plastic surgery and are rejected by either the clinic or their agencies or are discouraged to do so by other people. Such is the case of Exo's Siumin. He once discussed how he wanted to get eyelid surgery but everyone told him not to do so. In an episode of KBS's variety program, Hong Kim Dong John, the guests and the cast talked about how much they liked Schumann's monolids. Even before the show aired, Schumann had always been known for his eye shape, but since it didn't fit the Korean beauty standards, he thought about getting surgery. However, everyone he discussed it with discouraged him from doing so. Upon finding out about this, Hong Jin Kyung also echoed the sentiment, telling him not to get anything done. 2 p.m.'s Wu Young, who was also on the show with him, told Shuman, that's going to cause any uproar. You're going to get punished. You have such beautiful eyes. We couldn't have said it better. IU had also talked about how she wanted to get a nose job, which obviously never ended up happening. At the very start of her career, IU went through a change in her appearance, which was caused by weight loss and makeup. However, people at the time thought that she was lying about never going under the knife, even going as far as to take things out of context to prove that. IU has always denied that she got surgery, even sharing that she hated the way she looked so much that she begged her company to let her get a nose job. In her opinion, her nose was too small and short, so she made it her lifelong mission to convince her company to let her do plastic surgery. Her efforts had the desired effect since the agency finally allowed her to do so, but then she was rejected by the plastic surgeon. She revealed, the doctor said my skin was too thin so my nose could only get one millimeter higher at most. I was super disappointed and could only reluctantly go home. As a result, IU never fulfilled her dream of getting a nose job, but her fans couldn't be more thrilled about it. Sistar's Bora had practically the same thing happen to her. Back in 2012, Bora was asked what she thought about plastic surgery, and she revealed that she had thought about it, but ultimately was convinced not to do so. To explain her thought process, she said that she gets double eyelids when she opens her eyes wide but when they're normal, she has monolids. So she wanted to get double eyelid surgery, but her doctor told her that her eyes were charming as they were. Her nose also doesn't fit the beauty standards as it's not as high compared to other celebrities, but Bora said that she didn't care about it because she liked it. What a queen. There are also cases in which actors and actresses get work done either on their own will or because they were forced by their company, but ended up regretting it. Lee Hayori has been pretty open about this, even saying, that she wouldn't get anything done on her face anymore. She recently appeared in a YouTube video with Huang Kwang Hee confessing that she hadn't done any cosmetic surgeries since she liked her natural looks. Things changed when she got older and got booked for commercials, so she decided to try Botox for the wrinkles on her face. This choice of hers had consequences because she couldn't smile with her eyes after that. She said, I did not go back that route. Then I tried out laser to look more lifted a few times but I didn't see any changes because my skin layer was too thin. Hayori is probably not the first nor the last celebrity to regret going under the knife, but we wish that this would serve as a wake-up call for actors who wanted to get any work done, especially since they look so gorgeous naturally.